AI automation is a skill that's easily worth six figures, but clients don't buy your technical skill, they buy the result. And today I'll show you the system that instantly proves that you can deliver it. It's a machine that sends a personalized AI powered gift to your prospects, giving you an unfair advantage that makes you the only person they want to talk to. Think about the game you're forced to play to get a new client. You get them to your landing page or into an email and you're trying to convince a stranger to trust you with words alone. That's a fundamentally broken strategy. But this machine lets you skip that entire game. It's a system designed to get your foot in the door and it works because it does three things incredibly well. First, it delivers undeniable proof of your skill. A prospect enters their website. And a minute later, your system sends them three custom branded marketing assets. This machine is built to generate visuals, but you can adapt it to deliver any creative asset. You're not just claiming you're an expert, you're demonstrating your capability in real time. Second, it works as a 24-7 filter. It automatically brings you leads who are already interested and sold on what AI can do. You're no longer wasting your time on people who don't get it. And third, it flips the entire dynamic. You're not just asking for their time. You're starting with a high value gift. That simple shift instantly positions you as the expert they want to work with. Let's dive in. But before we talk about the build, let's quickly talk about the stack we're using and the cost, because this is the best part. To capture the leads, we'll use a tally form which is completely free and super simple to set up. The entire backend is built on N&M. To scrape the websites, we'll use Apify. For the AI, we'll use Google, but any LLM will do. And for the image generation, we're using FreePix API to access an incredible new model called CDream4. And the cost. Basically, this entire setup and the initial runs will be entirely free since we're using only tools that give us generous free credits to start. And even after you've landed your first dozen clients, the long-term API cost to deliver this incredible personalized package is only about 12 cents. And I'm going to walk you through every single step of this build, but make sure you stick around till the very end because I'm going to show you how you can get this entire powerful system into your own NNN account with a single click. Completely free. Everything starts with this webhook trigger, which is connected to a tally form. To set this up, first create an account at tally.so. Create a new form, then give it a title. I'll just name it Get Free AI Powered Marketing Assets in 60 Seconds. You can start by using a template to design a really nice landing page. But for this demo, I'll just set up a simple form from scratch. First, I'll switch it to a dark theme. Our form needs at least four fields. One to capture their name, another for their email, their brand's website, and a field where they can upload a logo of their brand. And at the end, we'll add a recapture button to prevent any malicious submissions. Then go into the settings and under prevent duplicate submissions, select email to prevent people from signing up twice. Hit save changes and publish. Now to connect Tally with NNN, go to integrations and here on the webhook hit connect. And here you just need to grab the webhook URL from your workflows trigger and paste it in. But be sure to change your webhook URL to production once you're ready to go live. And under share, you can grab the URL of your form. The first node after our trigger is the HTTP request, which we need to download the logo's binary data into our workflow. It's important that you add the logo URL expression from the tally form into this field to fetch the file. Next, we're branching the flow. We do this to preserve the binary data of the logo file for two nodes. With this top one, we're immediately transforming that binary image data into a base64 string, which we need later for the image generation step. And in the second branch, we're analyzing the prospect's logo with Gemini. 
we're doing this to figure out what the logo looks like. If it has a mascot, for example, that we could integrate into the scene. Or if it's just plain text, this way our creative agent has an easier time drafting the image prompts. If you've never set up Google credentials before, check out the video I've linked below where I walk you through each step. After merging our data back together, we're using this Apify web content scraper to get the prospect's website data. This allows our brand DNA extractor to figure out what the business is about, so our creative agent can create really personalized and tailored image prompts that will impress your potential clients. In the body, we're just sending the website URL from the form to the scraper. And to set up the credentials, just create an Apify account, go to settings, click here and grab your API key. And here in this get dataset items node, we're just grabbing the text that just got scraped. This remove duplicates node is just here to prevent the scraper from passing along two items, which it sometimes does. The first LLM is the brand DNA extractor. It takes the website's content and generates a custom brand DNA profile, which is then fed into the creative agent. The creative agent's task is to act as our AI creative director. It uses that brand DNA to output a personalized subject line and email body, along with three distinct high impact image prompts for the marketing assets. All right, then we're splitting out three image prompts for generation. Next, we're calling the CDream4 image generation model through FreePick using this HTTP request. To set it up, create an account on FreePick. And under freepick.com slash API, get your free API key. Copy that one and paste it right here. In the body, we're sending along our prompt and the base64 image data of the logo. Here, you can configure the aspect ratio of the images. I've chosen portrait, but you have these options. And the guidance scale basically means how strictly the AI would follow the prompt. But 7.5 worked well for me. In this loop, we're checking if the image was already generated. This get image node checks the status. You just have to add your API key right here. With this if node, we're checking for the completed status of the image generation step. And then we're downloading them using the HTTP node. And the quality is quite high for these images. They're in 2K. Then after downloading the image, we're saving all three to our Google Drive. And since we're saving three items in parallel, we need this aggregate node to combine them back into one clean item. This lets us save all of our data in a single row inside our Google Sheet, which is this one right here. I've set the sheet up to save all the data of the prospect with his files. And with this code node, we're preparing the data for the email. Then we're using this Gmail node to send the assets back to the prospect. Make sure you link all the expressions correctly. And in the body, you can see how I configured it to insert the images directly into the email. We're inserting the base64 string into the mail instead of the binary file, since those get blocked by most email providers. And this was the only workaround. And that's it. You can get the full edit and workflow file for this entire build in my free builders library. The link is in the description. You can import it and have this machine running for yourself in no time. Okay, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment below if any questions come up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.